Charlie Bahama and I am here at the Marlins Stadium and I'm in the dugout because you know Jazz you think he's the best Bahamian player but I am and I'm gonna prove it to them so I'm just waiting for them to call me up and I'm gonna be in the game soon and Charlie it's your turn let's go let's get going come all on all right all let's right go. let's go, let's go. I'm gonna do it roll, all right so come back to the Charlie Bahama show with Jazz the second best Bahamian player and then me Charlie Bahama it's our independent special all right so come on back the Charlie Bahamas Show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to BahamasResidents.com for more information. The Charlie Bahamas Show will be right back. Keep up with all things Charlie Bahama by following Charlie Bahama on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Get behind the scenes access to Bahamian and international celebrities, along with travel info, tips, photography, and video. Like, share, and follow Charlie Bahama on all social media platforms. And subscribe to our Charlie Bahama YouTube page to catch up on all past episodes and bonus clips. You can also go to charliebahama.com anytime. We always keep the lights on. The Charlie Bahama Show. All that same flair with a little less hair. Yeah. of the Bahamas. Fly away. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahamas show. And like I said, we have the man of the hour, our Bahamian boy. We're so proud of you. Jazz, man, it's so good to have you on the show, man. How, how does it feel, man? You, you here in the big leagues, man. I, mean, I feel good. I mean, ain't nothing than being here on the big stage, you know, representing from home, you know. Yeah. Now the thing is, today we here today because it's uh, Bahamian Heritage Day. So, how is it going to be? I mean, you know, Bah this this place could be full of blue, all kind of Bahamians up in there. How, how you think it's going to be to be playing in front of all your Bahamian crowd? Because you you know, hey, you know us Bahamians now. Hey, you you do something wrong, they be like, my boy, my boy, you know, like you know. See, I ain't worried about doing nothing wrong. That's the problem. Uh, I just feel like I go out there, have fun, and enjoy it, just like how when I was in little league and everybody used to come and watch our games, like how when I was younger, that's just going to remind me of the younger days, you know? Yeah. So let, let's talk because, you know, there's a lot of Bahamians and that's, just, that's another thing. I mean, the Bahamas is a small country, but we got like some of the best athletes across the board from sports and field, I mean, to freaking basketball and now baseball. I mean, how, how do you think we do it? We're such a small country, but yet we got like the best in the world. I mean, Bahamians are really athletic. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, I always see some kids that were super athletic that didn't make it, and I know a lot of kids that would have made it today if we were on the same route. So you know what I mean? Like if we took the same path and they did the same thing I did going from school and signing international and all that stuff, like they would be the same place as I am. So like we just have so much talented people that, that just missed out on their opportunities, you know? And you know, I just was one to take mine and just keep running with it. I was just one of the ones to get there. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about the route just so other Bahamians could maybe do what you did or try. I mean, do you think it's, it's getting a lot easier for Bahamians now? I mean, because, you know, the world has gotten smaller now. You think it's easier? And what was your road? Uh, I feel like it's easier now for Bahamians to sign into professional baseball and professional sports because you got guys like Buddy doing it, DeAndre Ayton. Hey, you got um, Strawn. Strawn, yeah. You got Strawn doing his thing. So, like, you got all of us doing our things in our respective sports. So, like, now they're saying Bahamians could do it like for real now, you know, Buddy, Shooter, Lights Out, Clay, Michael Thompson, all them, they just, they've been doing their thing, so they've been paving the road for us. Like, when DeAndre came to Arizona, that's when things really went up for Bahamians in Arizona. You know what I mean? It was me and DeAndre in Arizona, so it was kind of cool. But, 
like I say, I just feel like my path was I went to the U.S., uh, went back home to the baseball academy we have now home and signed out of there. But like I said, I feel like it's so much easier for Bahamians now to just sign out of the baseball academy. Back then, it was harder because we didn't have anybody up there, you know, for baseball. But now it's pretty much easier to go and say, okay, I can see this kid has the athleticism of jazz. You know what I mean? Like, right. And they'll take that and run with that, you know? Right. Um, now, I want to go to a first break, and I want to come back. I want to talk about your grandmother, because uh, your grandmother played a, an important part yeah. in, in your career, right? Charlie Bahama Show will be right back. The Charlie Bahama Show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to BahamasResidents.com for more information. The Charlie Bahama Show will be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show. We are here with Jazz Chisholm, our Bahamian boy with the Miami Marlins now. Now, Jazz, your grandmother played a very important part in your career. Tell us a little bit about her, and like she is super special. I wonder, I wonder, you, you, I mean, I know she was in softball, but you, you, you know, maybe she could, uh, you know, beat you at a thing or two or what? Uh, Even now, maybe. <laughs> I always give her a props, but you know, <laughs> it stops there. And it stops there. Like, you know, she teaches me everything I know, but you got, you always got to surpass your master if you want to make it great. So I feel like I surpassed her. So, and I mean, she told me that a long time ago. So. I just feel I just feel blessed to get the skills that she had and then some, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like she just blessed me with the skills and I like my dad had super crazy athleticism and everything. My grandfather, everybody was really athletic, so I'm just glad that she took me into the sport, got me loving it and I just love to do it every day, especially from watching her doing it before me. Um, yeah, it runs in the family. Now, tell me about the blue hair. Now, see, you you smart. You see, you branded yourself. I mean, you smart. Not only the skill, but you like, I can have skill, and y'all gonna know who. I mean, like, they'll spot you. Yeah, so, you so what, what? So what made you do that? I mean, honestly, my hair was blonde at first. Yeah, I remember that. And I was gonna go. Do, I was just gonna keep it blonde. You know, just grow it out, keep it blonde. And then uh, ace pitcher, Sandy Alcantara, he was like, why don't you just do it blue for opening day? He said, if you make the team, because I was a rookie at the time, this is going into my rookie year. If you make the team opening day, do your hair blue. And I was like, I bet. Yeah, I that was a, blue. that's and cool. My hair blue. You, you know, know? but and, and people will always, I mean, not only, luckily you have the skill to back it up too. Cause you know, a lot of people. You know. And I a little answer. <laughs> Hey, that's Bahamians, boy. Bahamians, we don't play. We don't play, man. Hey, I just gotta let them know. You, you better talk. see my hair blue, yeah, my brand, but I handsome with it. That's what it is. Yeah. You gotta really go with it. Now, let me ask you, do you miss uh, going back to the Bahamas? You get to get, like, well, at least Miami right across the street from the Bahamas. Yeah. So you get your Bahamian food, your Bahamian, you know. Yeah, but you don't really, like, man, you don't get to go home as much, like, Right now, probably tomorrow, I want to go home for a day. You know I going I mean? over to Nassau tomorrow if you want to go. I going yeah, over I tomorrow. I can't do that. I got a game tomorrow. You know what I mean? So like, other people can just go home whenever they want. I got to wait until 10 months over. And then I only got two months to go home. And I ain't even going home for two months most of the time. I only going home for like a week in each month because I still training to get back into the next season and coming back up. So like, it's just so much to not be able to go home. But when I go home, I always enjoy myself and I love it. Amen, amen to that. So one last thing though, what, what do you think um, baseball in the Bahamas needs to do to, to you know, get other jazzes, uh, you know, to, to have their chance? What do you think they should be able to do over there? Because like I said, we have a lot of, of great athletes, but I know when you came here, the difference between the training in the Bahamas and here was like, you know. Accessibility, I would say. The difference between here and home is accessibility and the coaching, I would say like, the passion that you put in to get your kids to go where you want them to go, which I see it starting to come up now with our baseball academies, you know, like the baseball academy that I went to, they want you to make it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not like a, oh, I'm just out here trying to get my kids to play a sport just so they don't get in trouble type thing. No, it's like, you come to play a sport, but you come to play the sport if you want to go somewhere in the sport. You ain't coming to play the sport just to like, chill out and all that stuff. like. Everybody play basketball at home just to say they play basketball, you know, go hoop with their friends when they bought or something like that. But if at the academy, if you was playing at this academy, you would be like, no, we playing basketball so you can go to the NBA, right. so you can take care of your family. Right. You know what I mean? Like, 
that's the things that we look into more. Taking care of the family than anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Jazz, listen. Good luck tonight. I don't have to wish you luck because you, 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 you know, as you say. You got the skills and the looks, you know. I used to have the looks. You can't have to get that part. <laughs> but yeah, good luck. And, and, and you know, you as our, our Bahamian boy, we're so proud of you. And, uh, you know, just great success for your whole career. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Now, now before you go here, you, you, you know, uh, you, you get assigned, uh, and we can do it on camera. I think I got one pen here. And, and see the color? It's a blue marker. You see that, eh? All right, the Bahamas in the house, the Bahamas, all right? More Charlie Bahama right after this. The Charlie Bahama Show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to bahamasresidents.com for more information. If you want more Charlie Bahama, go to any of our social media pages or subscribe to the Charlie Bahama YouTube page. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and we are here with Don Manani, the, the, the coach of the team, and, and also a legend in his own right. So, about that, but. no, a legend in his own right. And we're here at the, the, the ball pen here, and um, they wouldn't let me there because I was trying to be the, your, your pitcher, but uh, no. No. But you do have no. another Bahamian, Jazz. So tell us a bit about Who? Jazz. Je the, the, he's that guy who runs around with the blue hair. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's from the Bahamas? Yeah, he's from the Bahamas. You know, <laughs> I know he doesn't say it much, and you no, don't even know. Even does. though there's Bahamian heritage, you thought it was all yeah. for me. Yeah, I did. I actually did, but yeah. But tell us about Jazz as a player also. Not, not only as a, a human. We know he's a crazy guy and, you know, fun-loving Bahamian. But as a player, because we've seen him really improve. No, Jazz is a really talented kid. And uh, I think the sky's the limit. I think he could get a lot better still. Uh, there's so many things he does well. Uh, one of the things that I pushed for him is really just better routines where he's, he's focused in his work daily and, and, and just the small improvements daily and his preparation, things like that, because he, he, he truly does have a talent that's it's generational, uh, but he's going to have to work. And right. if he does that, he's got a chance to be really good for a really long time. Right. Well, the one thing is, you know, the Bahamas is really close. We, we're a very small country. Been but there we, many times. Yeah, well, oh, good. So yeah. um, what, what do you think the Bahamas could do, um, you know, to get more Bahamians into baseball? And, and do you think, like, the Marlins would go over more? And do, do, you, do you guys go over to look at some of the other young folks over there? I, the, the, you'd have to talk to our scouting department, but I think there has been more and more players from the Bahamas, right? So I think the way to, to get guys noticed is really that it starts young, right? If you have more leagues where kids play and they're introduced to the game, and a guy like Jazz may be a perfect guy, and like Lucius Fox, right? Isn't Lucius from there? Um, but those guys introduced the game. They did it in Curacao, same way. A lot of the guys that, from Curacao that have, have played in the big leagues right. have went back and did clinics and get the kids interested in baseball. Um, so I think that's how you start it. And, and obviously there's, there's some really good athletes coming out of the Bahamas. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a place that it's probably a, like a lot of hidden talent there. Yeah. Like like me. Are you sure you don't want me to? If you you don't need. No, I mean we're gonna get you to uh, we're gonna get you to tryout camp and see what that looks like. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much and good luck with the all game. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Charlie Bahama Show. The Charlie Bahama Show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to bahamasresidents.com for more information. If you want more Charlie Bahama, go to any of our social media pages or subscribe to the Charlie Bahama YouTube page.
Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and we are here at Marlin Stadium for Bahamian Heritage, and I am here with C.J. Hollingsworth, and it's so good to have you on the show because you represent the Bahamas right here in Miami. Absolutely, and it's a great time at this moment. Absolutely. You know, th this is amazing. All the flags are in the house. I, I believe there's more Bahamians in this stadium than in Nassau right now. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> and you know, the, the fan participation, Bahamian-wise, those who are uh, from the, the, IAS, the, the, the diaspora throughout from this area, Area, and also the, the amount of Bahamas that travel for this event. It's a, simply extraordinary, it's exciting, and I think appreciating our own in the, in the person of Jazz Chisholm is, is something that we ought to celebrate. Yeah, I had Jazz on the show already. It was amazing. And also his manager, uh, the, the coach, actually, because I told the coach, you know, Jazz is a good Bahamian, but I'm, I'm, I'm the number one, but they didn't put me in. <laughs> they didn't put me in. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think the, what Jazz is doing right now, Charlie, is something really amazing because he is introducing or reintroducing to the Bahamas to the kind of talent, the level of talent we have in the country. And he is exhibiting that through his play. And you know, he's having an amazing year. For, for all of us, this is exciting. So the timing for us in the Bahamian Heritage Night is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I did talk to the, to the coach and I said, uh, how can we get you, you guys to come and scout more Bahamians? So I already put that in their ear, so hopefully they'll be over there. Oh, yeah, absolutely, and you, you know, the, right now, the, the field of young players that, that we have back home that is playing in development leagues, and we have so many wonderful development leagues between Grand Bahama, Abaco, and New Providence. And you know, that's where basically everyone is at. It's amazing. And then, you know, having the amount of young behemoths that are now in a pipeline uh, at the minor leagues is also something that we are to celebrate. As a matter of fact, in celebrating this behemoth here this night, we had invited um, those persons who, those players, that is involved with the Marlins program to come up to spend the night with us. And um, I haven't seen them yet. I don't know if they're here, but you know, I'm hoping that they're here so we can also have a wonderful time with them. Yeah, I, I, I actually spoke to them about that too. I was like, we got to get all the Marlins. We got to get Jazz to bring the entire team to the Bahamas. I, you know, in off season, they got to come over there and relax and see what the Bahamas got. Absolutely, and, and, and that's something that we look forward to. Um, bringing the Jazz over, getting him home with the rest of the guys, introducing the other Bahamian players to, 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 to the Bahamian populace. Yeah. And they need to know more of what is actually happening. I don't think as many people know what is going on in professional baseball today. Yeah. Now another thing is because before we started, we, we, you was telling me some history about my, my grandmother, Rena. I mean, like, that's amazing. I mean, it's such a small world. Um, absolutely. You know, um, Renner is an amazing person from out of the Quintal area of West End. Um, and, you know, she, she played uh, a real um, major role in, in my being here in the United States where I attended high school, a, a graduate of Carroll City, Miami Dade. And so coming back here was like home. As a matter of fact, I was trying to recall all of this information while we were doing the, reintroduce, the, the reintroduction of the Gombe Festival in the Grove. And um, that was a tremendous experience because the amount of Bahamians that, uh, that we have here in Miami, especially in the Grove, mm -hmm. it was just a wonderful experience for me because it was like, okay. And then I couldn't remember all of the family members who were in that community, you know, but um, it's a small world, small community, you know. I'm sitting up here with this strange guy, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie <laughs> Smith, and all of a sudden, he found out that we connected. <laughs> that's yeah. a wonderful thing. Man. Yeah, that's it, man. So it's so good uh, to have you here, and uh, thank you for what you're doing here, and, and welcome to uh, Miami as CG now. You know, right. so uh, uh, you know, and hey, let's just keep this, you know, this this game going, and and you guys keep watching because we got a lot more for Bahamian Heritage Day right here in Marlin Stadium. All right, Charlie Bahama.
Charlie Bahamas show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to BahamasResidents.com for more information. The Charlie Bahamas show will be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and now we have come to the minister, Mr. Boleg. Listen, I saw you out there throwing that first pitch. Did they recruit you? <laughs> you know, uh, Teddy Sweden, you know, secretary of the Federation, you know, he told me what I needed to do and how to hold the ball and hold the grips. So I tell him all I wanted to do is call it a little Bahamian dropper. Get it over the plate, and slowly, but it's going to drop. And if we had a batter there, we'd have got the first strike. All right. See, so you get recruited. Are you looking for a recruitment? I, like I told Jazz, I said, you may, you you number two, I'm number one. But but the coach, Bottenley, he, he said, no, no, yeah, no. So yeah. I didn't get on, and I, I don't know. But we need you to stay over in the Bahamas, definitely, you know, as, as a minister. Definitely. So you maybe maybe in the, you know later on in yeah. your career. But right now, we need you to stick with, with youth and sports. And, and now, tell me, how, how do you feel about this, man? We, I mean, we represent him. It's amazing if you look at it over the last few years, you know, us getting ready to celebrate 50 years of independence and you can see the amount of uh, athletes we have at the professional level and each sporting disciplines. Like at Jazz Chisholm here today, we're celebrating our Bahamian Heritage Night. Uh, it's well accepted and supported by the people here in Miami. Your buddy Heal is going to enter this room in a little bit. You have uh, Michael Strong is also your professional NFL player. So, you know, we got the basketball NFL player. You have uh, Yolette McQueen, who is your also head coach, first female. Bahamian head coach oh, yeah. NCAA mm -hmm. uh, at Ole Miss. So when you look at all of them coming here to share in the celebration of Jazz Chisholm, but what I really want to do is focus on Jazz and the things that Jazz has done in his short span as a professional baseball player, uh, knowing that the Bahamians who have paved the way for him in the past, Jazz has surpassed many of them and, and it just shows that, you know, we are a small nation, but we punch above our, above our weight class and we're doing well. And you know, with Jazz leading the way now as the, the vote getter for the All-Star tells you, how great he is and you know a, a guy coming from a small nation and uh, have a chance to be the first time in the history of this country and I'm hoping that he this trend continues where he be a star and in the, in the um, all-star is just tremendous yeah it is I mean it started with Andre Rogers but it just keeps going on and, and actually me and Jazz talked about that we such a small uh, nation but my gosh we, we dominate in all the sports definitely you know and it's just something about us what we do how we, we handle ourselves our diet uh, when we become an athlete how serious we take it, you know, and we, we have this thing as Bahamians, we, we don't like to lose. And you watch Clay Thompson, even though he, he, he is born in the United States, but he has that Bahamian blood in him. Oh, yeah, no, he got and, a lot of blood through there. Yeah. And so again, as you see in every profession, the Bahamas flag is waving high, and I'm proud to be the Minister of Youth Sports and Culture at this time. It shows that the pride of those uh, gentlemen and ladies living in track and field uh, shows that they are proud to be Bahamians, coming from a small nation, but are punching very powerful above our weight class. Amen, amen to that. Well, listen, Minister, thank you so much for coming on the show here, and uh, I'll see you back in Nassau, but I, I don't know, man, you, that, that arm, that they might recruit you. He might not see Minister back in Nassau. <laughs> no, but I'm going to do my best. But like I said, it was a pleasure being here. I had fun. I'm going to continue enjoying the day and spend some time with all the Bahamian people and let them know that the government is here to support them, all of our athletes. And as you can see, the Prime Minister, in his absence, I want to say to Jazz and all the Bahamian athletes that Prime Minister uh, Philip Davis is in, in Rwanda, I just came from there, he's representing us in Chogum, and he would have liked to be here, but he said continue doing your good work. Your efforts and good works will not go unnoticed in our country. Alright, amen to that. More Charlie Bahama right after this. The Charlie Bahama Show is brought to you by the Family Islands of the Bahamas, where Bahamas residents can fly free to the Family Islands with the two fly free promotion. Just go to BahamasResidents.com for more information. If you want more Charlie Bahama, go to any of our social media pages or subscribe to the Charlie Bahama YouTube page. Hey, thanks for watching the Charlie Bahama show this week. It's amazing. I'm so happy we had Jazz on and also his coach and all the Bahamians here at the Marlin Park for Bahamian Heritage. So this is our independence show, so I want all of you guys in two days to have the most amazing Bahamian independence, okay? Because you see, Bahamas doing big all around the world, all right? Okay, so until next week, the Charlie Bahamas show, go to our Insta, because you see, you see all the behind the scenes of the Insta, and also our YouTube channel. 
Charlie Bahama YouTube channel, okay? And subscribe, please subscribe so we can make this show go all over the world and follow at the Instagram at Charlie Bahama, all right? So we can go all over the world. And like I said, you get all the behind the scenes when you go there and follow me, okay? Like Jazz, there's a lot of stuff you saw on my Insta and the YouTube channel that you won't see on the TV show, okay? Until next week, Charlie Bahama. Charlie Bahama Charlie Bahama